Hi guys, welcome back to Ferris Tutorial. Seasick food, nutrition, and health. In today's episode, we're looking at past paper question for the exam year 2021, and we're looking at question four. It reads, list four factors that contribute to food spoilage. Four marks. Define the term foodborne illness. Two marks. Explain how mold contaminates food. Four marks. Explain the importance of any three steps to be followed when preparing green beans for freezing. Six marks. Now, let's take things into a little more detail. So the first question says, list four factors that contribute to food spoilage. Right, so we have six here. You're just required to list any four. They are warm temperature, moisture, improper storage, poor food handling, unhygienic surroundings and enzymatic actions so any four listed is the ideal response all right next question define the term foodborne illness now foodborne illness may be defined as illnesses transmitted to humans by eating contaminated food the food may be contaminated by pathogenic bacteria such as salmonella right so foodborne illness is any diseases that one may suffer from because they eat food that has been contaminated right hence the name foodborne good and that is worth two marks next question explain how mold contaminates food now this is valued at four marks no tiny mold spores are all around us in the air. Once a spore lands on a surface, it searches for water and nutrients to feed off of. Food is able to grow mold easily because it is often kept in the perfect environment to foster mold growth. Factors such as temperature, air, food itself provide the nutrients and water the mold needs in order for it to grow now as the spore takes root it begins to spread and create more spores and spread quickly on surfaces of food some molds can take over your food in a matter of 12 to 24 hours while others may take weeks all right so i know that's a mold full so in summary or simpler terms how mold contaminates food Mold grow from tiny spores that float around in the air. When some of these spores fall onto a piece of damp food or other materials that is of the ideal conditions, they will grow, right? Now, mold produces chemicals that make the food break down and start to rot. As the food is broken down into small, simple parts, the mold absorbs them and grow right and that is worth four marks next question explain the importance of any three steps to be followed when preparing green beans for freezing six marks so right here we have all the steps to be followed when we're preparing something for freezing right now in order for us to freeze green beans of course we have to go through the process of blanching so what the, this question is, is really asking is the steps on the procedure should, that you should take at, or why you take these procedures before you blanch a particular item. Good. So it may not say green beans, it may say carrots, or it may just say vegetables. Good. Or it may just say blanching. But in this case, it says explain the importance of any three steps to be followed when preparing green beans for freezing. The first one we have here is washing. Good. So that's the first step. So washing any three steps. It doesn't have to be in order. So we have washing, blanching, sealing the package, rate of freezing. And then you would have to select three and you get two marks per per, 
per response, right? Or per importance. So washing is for removing the dirt and any foreign matter from the beans. Blanching helps to preserve the color, freshness, and flavor of the beans. And it also prevents ice crystals from forming in the beans. Sealing and packaging prevents the beans from being freezer burn. Oh my gosh, there's a little error here. So we should have beans. All right, let's make that correction. So it prevents the beans from be being freezer burn as exposure from drying out and destruction of the nutrients. Rate of freezing. Very rapid freezing will prevent ice crystals from forming, which can damage and destruct cell walls of the beans. All right, guys. And that is any three importance and explaining why each is um, each procedure or each step is important. That's how you would get your mark. All right. Good luck. You are awesome. You made it to the end of the session. Please remember to subscribe, hit that like button and turn on your post notification bells so that you can be notified when there's another upload. Most important of all, share with persons who you know will find this information useful. Thank you for making it fair.